Jimmy Lee was on the Howie podcast. It happened, you guys. Wow. He made it. He really made it. I'm so happy, man. It happened so fast. Like a whirlwind romance. <laughs> and love one minute, gone the next. Just like Casablanca. Just wasn't meant to be. Star-crossed lovers in the truest sense of the word. We'll always have Paris. We'll always have the podcast, Jimmy said. <laughs> yeah, dude. And also, it's getting good views. Like, better than, Bruh. like, for example, JoJo who? What? Who? 42,000. Jimmy Lee, 115,000 in one day. That Damn. is crazy. Especially Yo, because JoJo Yo. was talking about the Colleen stuff. Yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. And we were talking about it. I thought more people go watch it. Right. Yo, Yo. He has the most views since basically Bill Burr. He's a funny guy. Another Mark comedian. Norman has a little more, but Joe, J uh, Jimmy's going to pass him. Yeah. Go ahead. I would just say another fellow comedian, Bill Burr. Oh, Dr. Mike was on his show? It only got 77,000. What an idiot loser. I don't know. People like Dr. Mike, I guess. I like him. He's a nice guy. You do? Mm hmm He sucker punched Ian. It's hard to get past that. <laughs> that being said, he's, I mean, you know, he's hot. So he's got that going for him, you yep. know? Mm -hmm. That carries a lot of weight. It does. He's hot as fuck, dude. Have y'all seen him shirtless? He's so sexy. So there's that to consider, which I didn't until now. But um, anyway, Jimmy's crushing it, man. No, you know why is we Jimmy having a moment, like a real moment? Because <laughs> now that. maybe what will happen is other... Oh, dude, listen to this shit. <laughs> Jimmy hits me up. And says, do you want Carrot Top on your show? And he sends me a picture of him with Carrot Top. And I'm thinking, there's no damn way he can get me Carrot Top. Not that I think that Carrot Top <laughs> is like a super hard get. I mean, peace and love. I like Carrot Top. I like him. Mm -hmm. I always laugh when I see his bits, man. But I'm like, Jimmy doesn't, he can't get me in, buddy. Right. So I said, yes, Jimmy, I want Carrot Top, just to see if he could do it. He sent us a number. I shit you not. Zach te texted it today. Right, <laughs> Zach? He's going to put me in touch with his PR later. Are we comfortable saying that was Carrot Top's personal number? He responded to you immediately. Yeah, <laughs> Which is a quick. little bit sus. <laughs> is that Jimmy's second phone? I well, I know. said, have him send him a, a blank photo with the date I just right. I don't think it's like that hard of a get you know and the way dude, that Jimmy met him like dude K carrots not giving his personal number out I, I wouldn't put down the ways of the dr. Wiener man yeah I was saying he's he's too powerful now because the combination of a million followers plus being on Howie's podcast mm -hmm. I feel like that's gonna get him a lot of interviews and the way he nice. speaks, it he just like he presents himself that, a in a way that he is so famous. <laughs> yeah, he's so good at that. Too. Yeah, he's really he's good. Super he's, good at pretending. He, he like, believes it. The world. It's not I mean, a lie if you watching. believe it. Another Costanza quote. Mm -hmm. He's the definition of fake. He, he told how he had a TV show. Yeah, a TV show. He's got a movie coming up. Mm -hmm. Documentary. Two. He's got two, two movies. Oh yeah, he's doing everything. God, not wrong. It's so not a lie if you believe it. You know, some people say Aristotle's a good thinker. I think Costanza is the best thinker for our time. Can't stand ya. Um, but I actually, I'd I'd have Carrot on the show. Mm -hmm. I like Carrot. I think he's funny, man. People people, people give him a hard time because he does props, but he's he's funny. Carrot. Yo, you know, I think Carrot's ready to have a second, second, uh, chairman of the board. Oh yeah, part two. Talking about carrot? Yeah, he he deserves another shot at chairman of the board. Carrot. Carrot had a. <laughs> carrot. carrot was a participant in one of my favorite episodes of Reno 911. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, for real? Did you I, used to watch that show? Yeah, I did, but I didn't see the carrot club. Yeah, he. I think he was. They were. He murdered somebody in a hotel or something. He's so funny, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was pretty funny in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he gets a bad. I don't know why people give him such a bad rep, man. He's fu he's a funny dude. It's, Anti-ginger uh, discrimination. So I'm like, okay, let's bring Carrot on the show. Fuck, you know what I mean? If Jimmy's going to get the hookup. 
This is it, eh? Yeah, Reno 911 in its peak was a funny show, dude. So good. It's way ahead of its time. So funny, man. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there he is. So, so I thought it was interesting. But, yeah, I mean, Jimmy, you know how it works. One thing happens, and then Steve Rossi messages, like, Bobby Lee, mm -hmm. PR people, and then they go, oh, he was on H3, he was on Howie. Okay, we need a guest next week. Jimmy Lee might start making the rounds. <laughs> and I swear to God, nothing would make me happier than to see that. It, it, it's like unle I'm Dr. Frankenstein. And he is my Frank he's my monster. <laughs> it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. He's viral comedian, Jimmy Lee. I'm like the dude, I'm like the scientist in Wuhan who invented COVID. Yep. That's hotly debated. That's hotly debated. Sure. We don't know if that actually <laughs> Jimmy happened. Jimmy Lee the monster. No, I love Jimmy. So let's let's look at some of the highlights. I actually thought it was quite good the interview. Jimmy was good. He wasn't. He didn't push too hard. It was like a nice mix between James Weiner and Jimmy Lee. Let's take a look. This type of comedy and people, Jacqueline, is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Jacqueline, people that are young, are are loving me, which I was surprised. Like <laughs> I have a lot of young fans that like. This, and I'm surprised, Harry, because I'm an older guy, and I grew up with Don Rickles and Rodney Dangerfield and you and Red Fox, yes. and that's the comedy I like, and that's what I do. And it seems to be getting accepted in this politically correct culture for some He just put Rodney Dangerfield, Red Fox, and Howie Mandel. <laughs> he grew up watching them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's go back to that. that. Jimmy I grew up watching totally Howie. He grew up watching Howie. I mean, He's Howie a 90s was kid. Big, he was a big <laughs> act. He, he loved Bobby's World. Bobby was, yeah, he was right there, man. <laughs> Eddie Murphy grew up watching him. Yeah. After, after school every day, Jimmy just sitting cross-legged on the <laughs> floor of the, uh, of the playroom watching Bobby's World. Absolutely. Those Friends. Good old days, dude. <laughs> yeah. I love how he goes, the young people love my act. And then also he talks about how people are throwing tomatoes at him nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really funny when he gets into that. The people do love him, though. That's He's like a whole paradox, man. Jimmy's a whole paradox of a human being. He's one of a kind. Oh, and wow. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, sandwiches I'm are here. Comedian? No, yeah. my oh, one my son is reserved like my wife. My wife's Asian. She's quiet. And the other one's a little nutty like me. She's Colby. Asian and quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how we want to Even when quiet. you're not doing your stick, you know you're so saying me. things that could get you in trouble. But when I think about my wife, I, I get a little hungry, you know, because she's Asian. <laughs> But Howie, when I even when, when you're not doing your shtick, you know you're saying things that could get you in trouble. But when I think about my wife, I, I get a little hungry, you know, because she's Asian. <laughs> Don't say it again. <laughs> That's the problem. Right, we're gonna get <laughs> no, all right. Fantastic. <laughs> um. <laughs> when a joke makes everyone in the room like go like okay oh, right. there was oh, one with the is. craziest crickets yeah. was that the gay one which one was that that was the gay one yes dude you all <laughs> gotta see this dude this is uh, this is s tier called content on the carpet <laughs> oh my God. Hmm? you called her on the carpet or i that? did I but know. wouldn't you be ashamed of your child if they did that yeah Absolutely. What should you, as a, as a fellow Especially parent, I have sons. Yeah. So I wouldn't want them to do that. You wouldn't want them to do what? What you said. Blowjobs. Yeah. Because, because they're guys. They're guys. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> gay community. <laughs> I, know. I took one of my friends, Howie, on a gaycation. Everybody came. It was good. Oh, he just fell right back on the gaycation. <laughs> <laughs> he saved it, though. He saved I it. I heard the laughter in the, in the back room. I was... Oh, Howie, every time we fly, we sit in the cockpit. Room. He's a nice guy. Hey. He's a good guy. I took him to London, Howie, to find out, to see Big Ben. He found out it was a clock. He got pissed and left. He's not even talking to me now. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> uh, we haven't even established who he is. Yeah, who's he in this scenario? <laughs> he starts playing the hits, you know? Yeah. But I love it because it's like, what do you say in <laughs> yeah. the face of such, such words? And they're, they're just, they're rendered speechless. Jacqueline, you know, you know, you know my ass doctor, Dr. Bendover? 
Why was my comment about the blowjob inappropriate, but now... You know my doctor, Dr. Bendover? I don't. He's got brown fingernails. I don't go back. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> what is he saying? I was wild. He took... Hey, Jacqueline, he uh -huh. took 50%. Why me? Why <laughs> hey, he loves just like... I love Jack, when he does that. Yeah. He's it's the so new good. Olive. Right. There, he focuses in on somebody. Yeah. Isn't that he right, just, Olive? He finds a prey. I love that. I've been calling oh, Olivia Olive ever since Jimmy was here last love week. It. it is pretty good. Out and I told Howie I'm doing everything half ass. <laughs> I got problems, Jacqueline. <laughs> Sounds like I got a shitty attitude. Mm -hmm. nothing's, like nothing's easy. Uh -huh. My dentist is a beaut. I said, Doc, I got yellow teeth. He said, Go home and wear a brown necktie. <laughs> yeah, my dentist what? is a beaut. I don't get my that one. <laughs> to counterbalance. To counterbalance it. Okay. I it's guess. Like, yeah. Like that was when my I was wife. a kid and I had braces, I had the porcelain ones. And I got yellow rubber bands because I thought it would make my teeth look whiter. That's it actually smart. It did not. <laughs> it did not. I thought I was smart. I think it's smart. Oh, it might just make them look more yellow, too. It did. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, photos of me smirking instead of smiling. Oh, brother. My doctors know better. Mm -hmm. He told me he had six cases of BD in last week, but he's all right now. He gave himself a shot of penicillin. You know my doctor, Dr. Benny Bombots. How he knows him. That's how he can't even look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he I was like, want, what did Ethan like, get me into? But he said it was amazing. He liked it. Okay. Okay. I'm glad he had a good time. They both did. By the end, they kept saying, they were like calling each other family. Mm -hmm. Well, no, Jimmy was. No, Howie <laughs> was saying it back. He was no, like, he, you're uh, like Uncle Jim. The first part known right is now, like, he's like, we're family now. Not Let's check out some more highlights. I can be seen and be more mainstream known. Right now, I'm H3 branded. I'm not mainstream branded. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way. Whoa. I mean. Hold on. I, Howie, <laughs> don't put this on me. You made this choice. Look at the title. Jimmy Lee from Ethan Klein's H3 <laughs> podcast crosses line. Hey, he does not work for me. <laughs> I got nothing to do with nobody. I don't know nothing about nobody, Howie. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh. You got to put my name and the podcast? Why don't you put my address, too? My P.O. box. Where to send the, the suits? Three is trying to do... Ethan called me and said, book, and I would do anything for Ethan. I love Ethan. I, I owe Ethan the world for you. Hold wow. On. I love Howard. I love wow. Howard, man. He's the fucking best. I hope we didn't burn a big favor on Jimmy Lee no, with this one. Though. Oh. He, no, he's happy. He's happy with okay. it. And the episode's doing really well. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's a dub. True. That's true. Um, man, it's so cool what happened between me and Howie that we're such tight dogs now. Who thought him stalking, in the par stalking me in the parking lot of a Malibu outdoor mall would result in a beautiful friendship like this? I'll, I did not. I'll take my thanks in the form of a sentence because you from you why you talked me into reaching i talked out. you into because doing I it with like, him i don't know you wanted nothing to do with howie mandel you not because nothing i nothing to do with him, him. I was just and being, i said i just howie is a nothing. comedy legend he's very 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 funny america's uncle see i, I knew think, people I, don't know that he's actually he's funny now he's the funny. thing is i um i thought he was just too vanilla and it'd be boring that's all nothing gets him personally yeah no i get it but i was dead wrong so thank you, Dan. It's true. I do owe you for talking oh, so to welcome. that. Oh, it's nothing. it's nothing. Well, I feel like the prolapse definitely helped his case. You know, as far that as... That was after. Not after our interview with him, though. The, uh, the prolapse was after Ethan went on his show the first time. Are we oh, sure he about came that? on our show for the first time after the prolapse. Yeah. 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 But we contacted him pre-prolapse. You were Correct. on his show first. Yes. Which was great. That was a good show. How Ethan gave me, I'm not going to pan up to it, but Ethan gave me that painting right there. You see that painting up yeah. there? What is that? The prolapse. Oh, see, oh, I didn't even know that. He's a doctor. How do you know that's the first person that looked at that and said prolapse? <laughs> yeah. I guess he's a doctor, yeah. I mean, he's in dentistry. How many prolapses have you seen? Seen one, you've seen them all. Oh, He's I watched it. I watched it, Jacqueline. I watched it. I was hysterical. I watched it before the live show. Um, I know. Uh, oh, I have another scandal that's going on that maybe we can have his take on. Okay. And then um, talking about his music career. 
the big stuff here. I'm an accomplished singer-songwriter. Accomplished. Pull up, pull up, uh, Kid Vegas, Jimmy Lee. Pull up the video. Oh, Kid, Kid Vegas. Kid Vegas, Jimmy Lee. Yeah. Before Jersey Outlaw, you changed mm. from Kid Vegas. No, Kid Vegas is a song. It's, I wrote this, and you gotta watch the music. Can video. I play it? And oh, not that's it right it? there. Watch that. Watch that. Okay. Yeah, this I is wrote a... this whole song, and we did a music video. Okay. This was on radio. This was like a long time. This is before I did comedy, though. It's there, Dad. Oh, I haven't seen this, <laughs> or I hadn't seen this. How many views did it have? I did music a long time. We're not going to get claimed for this shit, are we? I checked the episode. It didn't get claimed. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. I roll into town with my snitchkin. Yeah. Ooh. Pulls a lot the way they look with my Adidas with suits. Wearing a smile, carrying a lot of... I got the headphones on for that. He's on the... So cute. Oh, he's listening so intensely. Dude, that's <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. That's a meme template Ooh. for sure. Oh, this is fucking fire, man. You guys go, go ahead and just meme the shit out of that. By the way, <laughs> another funny and weird thing about Jimmy is he is a very, very talented piano player and musician. He is. Yeah, no, yeah. He's, he, he is a musician. He's Billy Joel. He's got the song in the dance. Do you guys hear him in that? Like I know that's him, but I'm trying to. I did when I, I need him. I need to see him sing live. When I heard it more like. Yeah. Intimately, it definitely sounds like he, him. He calls me all the time, like just cold calls me and starts playing the piano. Aw. He starts what? He starts like playing the piano and starts doing like playing like Springsteen songs and shit. Like, dude, he's such an interesting guy, man. I don't know what to say. Jimmy is just an endless enigma. His dream is to go to a piano bar with me. Oh. And I keep telling him no. I think he needs to open Why? for... You know, no. I think... I just said his name. How do I forget it? Billy Joel should open for Jimmy Lee at Madison Garden. Wow. Yeah. Billy Joel should open for Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Step aside. <laughs> Vegas. So, okay, horn section. Kid, That's kind of awesome. He's Kid Vegas. He's Kid Vegas. Bro. Is this another kind of persona of his? Like how Zach has like Lou and all those? I don't know, but he's oh, Kid Vegas. We, every time we fly, we sit in the cockpit. Room. Yep. So go watch it. I mean, the whole thing is pretty fun. And shout out to Howie for for doing that. I I truly uh I truly love this collaboration. There, it's been really fun. There, the last. Timestamp in there. I just like there, there's two moments where he keeps asking to get a picture with Howie. He's like, it's for social media. It's for the social media. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> like the last. <laughs> I found it so amusing. Exactly. That's kind yeah, of she's, yeah. Asian. Yeah. she's Asian and she likes to drink. That's two kinds of I can't drive. <laughs> there. He I, love, I love you. And laughs. Jeremy sitting beside him, <laughs> sitting beside Christ. Kyle, going, now. <laughs> <I saw that. laughs> Who's that behind the glass? Kyle and, and uh, Jeremy. How are you doing, Kyle? Good to see you back in men's clothes. You look good. It's been a while. Still do trick with the monkey? That is a fan of the show, by the way. Cool dude. Shout out. He's the one that hooked me up with that pillow, I think. Oh. Oh, nice. He's so not he wearing knows. the headphones, so he oh. can't tell. No, that. that's okay. <laughs> Kyle, you still do trick with the horse? Yeah. With Trixie? Yeah. Okay. I saw you in Vegas last year. You missed it. Do it. <laughs> do, hit it. I saw you in Vegas last year. Do you know the hookers in Vegas drop it, drape it, and droop it? In your case, they droop it. <laughs> Go ahead. Go you ahead. didn't know that? No. Yeah. I was what? with a hooker last night. I dropped my pants. He dropped their price. <laughs> 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 hookers in New York, they meet you, greet you, and eat you. It's a little different over there. You follow me? No. no I don't understand the hooker one. Is he saying he's... What does he mean by that? What, what did they see that they lowered the price? His penis being small. They felt bad for him. Yeah. Because if they lowered the price, that would imply that they liked it more. Mm. Uh, that's one way you can interpret it, but I, I like, think I'm going to cut you a deal so you come back. Right. I think it's more just they felt bad. It's like easier work. So the like bigger your dick, the more expensive it is? I, I suppose mm. that is the I think it's just so small that it was just so pathetic that they <laughs> felt bad and they gave a steep discount. Yeah. That's my read. Okay.
I think you need to watch the uh, Rodney Dangerfield Joe compilation that he stole from. Right. The, the full. Uh, we don't picture. talk about that, Cam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh. Do you follow me? No. You don't follow me, Jackman. Say yes. Yes. You follow yes. me. Yes. Follow me. I'll call the cops. I don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I got problems. I got two kids in private school. They won't even tell me where it is. <laughs> they told the kid to form a double line and went get, had cocaine. Cocaine. What? Cocaine. <laughs> they don't get Two, it. On the oh, beach. No. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you. It's 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 rough out there. It's a rough world too. All right. Uh, Siamese twins can't even make ends meet. <laughs> good one. Good that was one. a good one. You, you want to do a closer? Wanna like the podcast is kinda Yo, that sandwich slapped hard as a fuck, dude. That is Boston. Yeah, this place is rocks. That that sandwich just fucked my mouth, dude. For real? Yeah. I just I just tagged on the cock of that sandwich. <laughs> too vel too graphic? No, that's alright. Damn, that was so good. Did you get the same thing as me? Nah. I got the bacon chicken. I bacon don't know. chicken? Bacon, salad, I don't know. It's just good. I just eat it. They say it's all about the bread, but I have to say, I also like what's in, it's about what's in between the bread as well. I agree. Bread it needs to have both. I was not a sandwich. Bread comps, Dan? Bread, bread comp. Bread comps? Com bread comp? What the fuck? You okay? I'm going to do a closure. I want to say, uh, to Howie Mandel and his daughter, you made a little guy from New Jersey feel a little bit important. I love you both for believing oh, in listen, me and having yeah. me on today. Well, I can't Not thank even you enough closer. for coming. I love you guys. I, I, well, we love you. Um, you are really, really interesting. I, I want you to get everything that you want. I want you also oh. to be... Careful, you, Howie. I want you to be careful because there's nice. somebody. I want you to be nice. Be a nice guy. No, but I, you know, the internet is a scary place right now, mm -hmm. and people are really sensitive. And I, I, I want you to, you know, just have fun, be happy, be healthy. He's histrionic, and, uh, Howie. Don't push. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm and I want to thank. Uh, Where's Ethan the picture part coming up? Yeah, yeah, it's like right when they go to cards. It's audio. We had a fun. That was yeah, fun. Was it was a fun nice. time. And uh, also for putting a lot of our uh, staff to work. I want to thank <laughs> Kyle and Jeremy, who just have a confused looks on their face. Like, uh, we've never had to work this hard. <laughs> How you doing, Kyle? How you feeling, baby? Doing all right. Yourself? I spoke to the brothers. You're going to be all right. You'll be here at East LA. Oh, God, not the In the brothers, truck in about folks. an hour and a half. With Leroy. You know Deacon Leroy? He's coming to pick you up. He doesn't know when to press that button. <laughs> he doesn't push the button. Well, he, he, well he's waiting for he's the... Waiting he's waiting for to, the... He wants to know when the punchline punch was. Well, I don't think... Was there a punchline on there? Okay, now. Okay, okay. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Husband Jacqueline. I'm going to fast forward. <laughs> Love you guys. And, and people I feel subscribe. I'm part of the family now. You are. You're like my uncle. Oh, I do <laughs> want to... Um, oh. See, we'll it's, now, again, Howie is 67, I think. And he said Jimmy is like his uncle. Yeah. So you guys do the math on that one. Yeah, he's 67. It'll air before Saturday or no? No. Well, okay. it'll air before a Saturday. <laughs> okay, no, I have a comedy TV shoot on the 16th all around Hollywood. Well, is there somewhere where they can Saturday. go find, like, your comedy stuff? or what? To, Yeah, they can go to... Uh, Jamesweiner.com. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, James... No, how we lead the Jersey out, the outlaw, and Natasha. And I had some gear. Ah. for asking. Okay, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so where's the I'm picture right. part? Gas yeah? this morning. I thought I was being followed you by like two just hours. Passed it. Burped up some yeah, I, I had some gas. Yeah, I had some gas. At the end. Rabbi away <laughs> came in. This is killing me. Let me reclip the. Yeah. Let me reclip. Came like, in. Hmm? You just burped up some. Yeah, I, I had some gas this morning. I thought I was being followed by two Arabs. What? <laughs> I'm all right now, but bro, oh. that's not a good one. We t I tried to oh tell him God. so many times. <laughs> Doesn't <it> really <laughs> make sense. To you? That's one of that's probably one of the most offensive. No, because Arabs smell like farts. Oh, insane. Jesus Christ! It's but crazy. There, <sighs> he's got to stop with. Those I've tried. Like I've tried. <laughs> oh my God! We tried to have interventions. Be like, dude, cut this one. Don't do that one. My favorite one. 
<laughs> but he brought it back, man. He almost made it through, but then he just couldn't resist. But thanks for asking. Okay, no laughter that, from no. that one. <laughs> <laughs> you let me Where's the picture one? It's audio. Just play. Keep playing it. Oh. Yeah, you did with Carson, did with Brooks. <laughs> hey, how can I get a, a Danny to take a picture with yeah. me in the middle with that? Yeah, that, that's viral. Thank you. That's viral. I really. Anyway, go watch it, guys. It's good. Good. After you watch this entire podcast, though, of course, and any other podcast of mine that you haven't watched every second of, then you can go. Um, you heard from Carrot Top's publicist, Zach? I did. Go ahead. Uh, they reached out, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on getting a date, uh, possibly in October. Is he? Does Carrot want to come in? Yes, it would be in person. Oh my god! Because he's, gonna... he's Mr. Vegas. He's gonna fly out here. They they gave me a date that won't work because it's on the uh, weekend. But we, we're gonna... we're gonna get Carrot Top in studio. We're gonna get Carrot Top in studio. I feel like Jimmy has a right to be there. Yeah, he's gonna make you pay to fly. Dan, out. Carrot's coming. <laughs> Wait, it's an oil joke? Yeah, because he's saying Arabs smell like gas. Oh, oh like yeah. gas. Okay. Interrupt. But he now said fart. He says, okay. That's not as bad as saying they smell like <laughs> yeah. farts, but yeah. it's still bad. That's funny. But I, you really have to think deep to pick that up. Yeah. 